Welcome to video 3. In video 3 I will uh, chat about uh, building a test page or test plan and um, I will show you a bit of ins and outs of JMeter whilst uh, doing this whole thing. So one thing that we need to understand is that a test plan describes a series of steps JMeter will execute when uh, when the run is actually happening, right? A, a complete test plan will consist of one or more uh, thread groups, logic controllers and sample generating controllers um, it will even, you know, include listeners, timers, um, assertions, and configuration elements. Now, that is quite important to understand that and know that. So, let's chat about adding and removing elements. That's kind of the first thing uh, that we that you will be looking at and that you need to understand. And that is. Um, of course, adding and removing elements, as I said. So, um, adding and removing elements um, to a test plane can be done by right-clicking on an element in the tree and choosing the new element from the add list. Okay, so that's what we're going to do um, right now. So I'm, uh, I just need to uh, get uh, get to actually add um, the elements. For some reason, uh, my mouse is uh, stuck. There we go. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and you can actually add an element. Now you can actually add threads to the users, um, which we'll chat about in a bit. Uh, you can have text fragments, config elements. Uh, you know, when we talk about uh, config elements, uh, counter, uh, SV, uh, CSV data set coding, uh, FTP, HTTP, cache manager, cookie manager, header, and so it goes on. Pre processes, post. Da, 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 and it, so it goes on and that's how you actually add uh, to your um, you actually test you know actually um, you know test plan and uh, to remove an element you'll make sure that the element is selected and uh, so I'm just gonna go in and add a quick element and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove it again. So what you do is you just click on it, make sure you've clicked on it, and uh, you can either disable it uh, or you can just remove it. And it's going to ask, are you sure you want to remove? And you're just going to say, yes, I am 100% sure. Okay. Now, loading and saving elements is the next subject that we're going to chat about. Now, to load an element from a file, you can actually right-click on the existing tree element. Okay. Uh, you wish to want to add a loaded element and then we're going to select merge and uh, once you have clicked merge um, the option the option open box will appear and we can choose a file from there on um, that are saved now jmeter will merge the elements into the actual tree as well so um, yeah to save the elements we can just uh, right click an element and choose save so if we have an element there we can just right click and uh, save uh, whatever you need to save so the tree is quite important to understand and the tree is quite important uh, for you to use during the whole process of working with jmeter now um, uh, JMeter will also save elements selected plus the child elements beneath it. So if you've got your test plan, you've got a couple of guys below it. I'm just going to go and add it, add one. You can just literally click on test plan and you can hit save or you can just hit the save button right here and you can save the elements uh, that way as well. So um, now the workbench is not automatically saved with the test plan, but it can be saved separately as above. So configuring the tree elements any elements in the tree in the test tree will uh, will be present uh, when the controls of JMeter uh, right hand frame. So these controls allow you to configure the behavior of a particular. So when we click on it, you can actually in the right hand side you can configure the behavior of that specific uh, element chosen in the tree section. Now the tree itself is. Uh, can be manipulated by dragging and dropping components so you can actually go ahead and dragging and dropping components uh, as you would uh, you know as you want so that is a uh, pretty cool um, you know uh, when you're working with uh, certain elements now saving the test plan is another subject that we can chat about and saving the test plan uh, although it's not required we recommend that you always save your test plan before running it now that's one thing to remember um, you know just to make sure that everything is saved and um, 
to do that you can just rather click on this box so you can go file and you can go save and you can choose your you know your uh, your place where you want to save it now jmuter allows you to save the entire test plan tree for only a portion or even a portion of it to save only the elements located in the particular branch of the test plan tree selected in the test plan element in the tree from which you want to start the branch and then just click right mouse button and then access and then save the selection that's how easy it is alternatively select appropriate test plan elements and then save the section from the edit menu so that's the one thing though and um i'm just going to go ahead and delete this uh remove that i'm just going to click yes and i'm going to add a um authorization manager just just say that and um, basically how to run your test plan uh, basically once you have chosen uh, the the uh, desired elements on the left hand side you will click control R or um, press the play button right here or run and then start and um, when JMuter is running it shows you small green box on the right hand end of the section just under the menu bar uh, which we'll have a look at in the next video and um, it will also have a run uh, if started you know it will be uh you'll see it you will see when it's running and when you press stop it will stop now the numbers on the left on the green box we will chat about that in a bit so uh this was just you know unveiling to you exactly how everything works in the next video we'll actually get down to uh actual test of uh jmeter so this was video three understanding um the tree elements and understanding what can be added and be